So in order to actually test out the entire destiny, what I'm going to do is reset all of my destinies. That way I have all 75 of my points. Okay, the mantle. 1d6 plus 6 Sonic. Sound and the Fury. It says it right at the beginning. All your attacks and spells have a chance to cause this to happen. It's thoroughly test every single aspect of this destiny. So give me a, a second to just set up my bar. Because we're going to basically... So this is all the epic strike junk that I have. All the epic stuff that I'm not using. I'll just get rid of it all. Okay, that's epic. Okay, and that's epic. Okay. okay I think that's it. All right, so we've got nothing in anything. So I'm just going to blast every every point that I have. So we want the spell cast. See, I think 75 should be enough to buy me this entire tree, I hope. Okay, we need enchantment because we're an enchanter. This is plus one attack and damage. Okay, so that's really for melee. But we'll take it anyway. Immunity to stat damage, that's great. Okay, so let's do this first. Um, I think probably for my build, I already have... I think in large. Little Mama, how are you? Yeah, happy year of the dragon. I got my reward. I haven't made my dragon lord yet, but I'm going I'm experimenting with all the destinies. I'm happy to report that they didn't kill my builds. So I will be staying in my original build, but what I'm going to do for the stream tonight is go through all of the spellcaster destinies on my main. And try them out and see how they feel, see how they play. I just did an R6 on my build and it played completely fine. It's the biggest thing that I noticed is that Carrion Swarm now has a saving throw that mobs can make. And when they make the save, they don't take any damage from it at all. When they take damage from it, if they fail the save, it's about half the damage that it was. So, yeah, right. Like, it's nice that Warlocks did not... Actually, I noticed a little bit of love because my heart mantle is now procking on my burst. And I'm seeing a lot more light damage. So, so we're going to take enlarge there. And then this... I don't have greater shout or... But we'll take that just in case something counts as it. Okay, and then for this, I just want my my uh, renewal. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we've got a bunch of stuff to, to play around with. So there's my renewal. This is my mantle right here. This is like my AOE thing. This is my epic strike. And then what we're going to do is turn the tide is my epic moment. Okay, so 20 seconds, 
every five minutes I can get a hundred universal spell power at minus twenty five on all my. It's good to know. And then we'll try this. Cut the strings. I have a hundred and two DC on. I'm pretty sure I have all of my meta magics already turned on. Okay, I'm not using Colors of the Queen because I don't want anything weird weird to proc. So I have um, I have my fast healing on instead of Colors of the Queen. And then I have all of my meta magics turned on. So you can see it down here. And these are my epic. So I'm using Brace, Fast Healing, Skill Mastery, and Energy Criticals. And then my Iconic is Morning Lord for the extra light damage, basically. I like Colors of the Queen, but I wanted to see what like weird damage might proc for the changes in the Destinies. Not from that. So, uh, so I think... I want to see like a baseline. And so I can usually very easily do this astral quest. It's not super easy, but it's, you know, my build can handle this really simply on R1. So we'll try it. We'll just see how this mantle does. Oh, and I've showed this earlier, but I see a few people have joined. So the experimental tumble got added uh, charge. It basically put on charges. So you can see like these green sort of arrow dot things. Those are the charges. So Mary has two. And when I tumble, I use up one and then it puts the other one on a cooldown. So I can do two in a row. And then when I try to do it again, I see this error message, but they recharge pretty quick. Like there's one recharged, so then I can use that. I should be getting another one recharged soon. I think it's like eight seconds. Yep, there's another recharge. So, I mean, it's a good compromise, like. At the end of the passage ahead, you can see a fortress floating in the silvery mists of the astral plane. Okay, I got lucky with this the dude. The defensive shield collapses as it comes into contact with a living being. So, my epic strike looks like it's hitting him pretty well. Let's look and see if I'm stacking it. Yes, okay, it's stacking. I mean, it's okay. That was pretty decent. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I completely agree. It was nice being able to just tumble through everything. Definitely cool. The lever activates, uh, and one of the signal crystals by the barrier flares alight. God, I forget where these levers are. I think there's one right there, yeah. With both okay, and then pulled, there's like the one more up barrier there, collapses right? in upon itself, yes. revealing the passage beyond.
Okay, we'll see how Fate Singer does on these slots. There's my Epic Strike. That Epic Strike hit him really hard. I hit him for like 7,000 damage. Like, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it looks like if you're a Fey Warlock, the damage in, um, the Sonic damage seems to be pretty boosted in Fate Singer. Is it stronger than my primal avatar? I don't think so because I get a lot of other stuff from, from the primal, small tower but... as the barrier blocking the entrance is disrupted. One of the biggest things that primal avatar gives you is rejuvenation cocoon, which is so nice. It's such a great heal. It's it's up a lot. You get temporary hit points, so it's really good if you're squishy to have that make yourself a lot more survivable but so we're gonna see how we do against this ooze this ooze is usually really tough and I'm going to use the epic moment on it um, yeah I, I said ooze but it's a mimic right yeah, it's a mimic. the innocuous chest lets out an unexpected roar as it attacks Okay, so gotta make sure I keep myself healed. So let's use there's the epic turn the tide. That's my epic moment. It looks like the sonic damage is hitting him really hard. Eight thousand, and that's really good for an epic strike. Three thousand. 12,000. 9,000. What the? <laughs> this damage is really good. 9,000. That's great. I mean, look at that. I'm, I'm like getting a lot of damage off of this epic strike, and it's up like every three seconds. So even though it's single target, that's the um, the AOE. The AOE looks like it's up every 12 seconds. Uh, I just did cut the string, and he was completely immune to that effect. But you know, I I wanted to fight this dude because he's got a bazillion hit points. He'll probably kill me if I can't get my heals up. But I'm hitting him for a lot of damage. 4,000. 3,700. That's my burst. Here's another epic strike. 3,200. My burst. Epic strike. 3,200. Here's the AoE epic strike. 4,600. 3,800. Looks like when it crits, that's when it can do the, the, the 10k. I am getting an error telling me that I can't cast spells from other classes, and that's not the first time I've seen that, and I'm not sure what I'm doing that's causing that to happen. There was a 10k. There was another 9800. That was one epic strike. 9800. Oh, he's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. 4500. That was three, what, like 34 or something like that. There was 9000 from an epic... Okay, the reason why I, I'm so excited about... Look, 89... This thing costs like 2 mana. Yeah, it's 2 mana. 2 mana to do 9,000 damage. 9,300. It's really, really good. 13... Uh, oh, God. 
That was a lot. I'm getting some gigantic crits. 10,000. So Primal Avatar certainly is... Um, they didn't nerf it, but it looks like they, they completely nerfed Carrion Swarm compared to these other Epic Strikes. My Carrion Swarm was hitting for like 600. And this strike from Fate Singer is hitting, look, 10,000. Like, they are hitting really, really hard. There was a non crit for 3,700. 7,400. Yeah, it's kind of not fair that Carrion Swarm got completely gutted, and now this other epic strike is hitting so hard i mean and it's not just like a, it's not a rare occurrence for it to do that much damage it's, it's, With a final it's hitting round, a lot the mimic falls lifeless to the floor oh hey i got a nice that's great i have not looted one of those before the facet of condensed power minus 10 enhancement bonus to spell cost really good okay all right so we did a test right like I'm sort of amazed at how good this this felt it didn't feel bad at all um turn the tide is awesome 100 universal spell power minus 25% spell cost what I noticed really didn't work although I was fighting a boss is cut the string so one of the things I'd like to do is go find some slots because they're just normal mobs in here and they do have really high spell resist so we'll see what happens when we hit them with cut the strings should be able to find a bunch of them over here near this entrance in front of me I'm super impressed by the um, amount of damage from that epic strike. That's like way, way better than it used to be. All right, this dude right here. Here we go. Cut the strings. All right, that worked. That worked really well, actually. They all got danced and they all died instantly as soon as they took damage. So, I mean, they fixed that, because that never worked correctly anyway. But yeah, that was great. That really easy way to get rid of trash. So it, that may be like a go-to for certain raids. Cut the strings. It's up every minute, too, so... I mean, look at that, 10,000. Thirty-seven hundred. If I can hold these dudes. I'm trying to see the damage on the epic strike. Yeah, eleven thousand. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ninety-seven hundred. <laughs> it's up every three seconds. Nine thousand. <laughs> it's insane. Oh, I accidentally. Did my uh, I have it on a, a different key something that I usually throw hot on myself which is why I accidentally hit it I'm used to hitting that button when I want to heal but for this for our experiment here I have that I basically just put the um, cut the strings right there so we're gonna go into the, the that little mini this boss that's up like ahead, a safe place to rest and we'll and see if I can. We'll wait like thirty seconds. I might as well shrine since I'm here. Uh, we'll see if um, being in Fate Singer does anything to my shrining. I don't think it does, but so up ahead there's a bunch of slots and there's a mind flare little mini boss. So we'll see what happens with cut the strings and then. I think I've also got my epic strike, up, my turn, yeah, my epic moment up. I usually don't use the epic moments because they suck so much, but this is an actual really good epic moment. It's not as good as like Turn the Tide was back when we had our old Destiny system, like that used to be really good back then, but 
it's 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 decent compared to the other epic strikes like the one in primal avatar it's okay but my my issue with the epic strikes in general is that they only last 20 seconds and they're up every five minutes like i feel like they should last a minute I mean, that's like a personal feeling. I feel like they don't last long enough to be considered like an epic moment. Like, I think if you're really going to have an epic moment, you're, you know, I mean, it's not 15 seconds of fame here we're talking about. We're talking about like D&D being able to You'll kill a boss. No so you need a little bit more than 20 seconds. Controllers work will not be and this dude has a lot of damage reduction and i'm still hitting him with this there's my epic strike 4700 4300 8000 6400 oh and i just discovered an error like i should be immune to charisma damage unless it looks like it automatically heals the charisma damage i wasn't supposed to take it to begin with but I don't see the damage. I saw that I took it, but I don't see the damage here. Get out of that. Sixty-five hundred. Let's see. It shows me taking that charisma damage, but the damage is not stacking. The staggered elithid lets out an ear-piercing screech. Summoning additional defenders. Okay, a bunch. So we're we're using the epic moment. This is our epic moment. Oh, actually, no. This was cut the strings. So cut the strings. So I should be able to hit all the ones that are dancing. Uh, it looks like they're no longer dancing. So that didn't hit that many of them. So it doesn't look like the range on that is very high. Oh, so rather than... Oh, I need to... Rather than making you flat out immune, it looks like it just, like, shrugs it off. Weird. I'm not sure I like that. I, I think you should be fully immune to it. I don't think you should temporarily take charisma damage if it says you're immune to charisma damage. Maybe. Okay, that dude got hit with cut the strings and he died instantly. So it works. I'm happy with that. Like that that's cool. I feel like that's working. Sixty two hundred. And this dude's got a lot of damage reduction. Your head. Yeah, so he hit me with a bunch of charisma damage, warning. but Controller, my charisma's not coming. damaged. So even though it registers, it immediately heals itself. Maybe that's just a workaround to fix some of the spaghetti code that they have. I, I don't know, but... I think all things um, considered... Uh, it's playing really well. You spy another set of floating I'm gonna do it again, ahead, just to test it again. So there's the cut the strings. I should pop a lot of slots when I hit this ground right here. Yeah, we're gonna see the range on this thing. Right? Oh, let me get rid of this reaper first. He completely ignored my... Alright, I just hit cut the string. And it got the Reaper. You can see he's stuck by the little things. But it missed the slot. So the AoE for that is not very, very big. But it's interesting that you can get Reapers with it. That dude just took 10,000. Let's get this named champion. Fifty-seven hundred. 
God. It's just up so quick. 4,200. No, I'm not gonna make it. The range on it is pretty far. 27, 75, 28, 26. Wow, the range on this epic strike is really, really far. Look at that. I'm hitting it with it from here. This is one of those mobs I can't damage it unless I'm in that little green shell, though, so... Oh, he just kicked me off. All right, well, I... Yeah, so... We did some good experimentation. So what I'm going to do is reset into a different destiny and we'll go back into the same quest and we'll see if killing that mimic is easy, doable, or if it's just, you know, too difficult or whatever. So uh, so that was Fate Singer. All in all, like given what I saw and you can see I bought every single skill that you can get in that tree. Um, we went in on R1, and the epic strike is really, really strong. So I think if you do any sort of sonic damage, uh, this is definitely a good tree now. The, the one downside from my perspective is that, because I like to have a heal, you know, I use Renewal and then Cocoon. It'd be really difficult for me to just live in this tree, even though the damage is good, because I would lose a big, a big percentage of my heal. But overall, for the DPS, it's really good.